Today, we'll explore how HTML enables graphics on web pages through to key tools, SVG, and Canvas graphics. These technologies allow you to draw shapes, images, and other visuals directly on the web, perfect for data visualization, animations, and interactive content. Now, let's start with scalable vector graphics. SVG is an XML-based format for creating vector images. It is resolution independent, meaning it scales without losing quality, making it great for logos, icons, and charts. Let's see how to create a simple SVG image of a circle. In this code, we're using the SVG element to define an area that is 100 by 100 pixels. CX equals 50 and CY equals 50 to position the center of the circle at 50 pixels from the left and top edges of the SVG canvas. R equals 40 to set the radius of the circle to 40 pixels. Stroke equals black, adds a black border around the circle. And stroke width equals 3 defines the thickness of the border. Finally, fill equals red, fills the circle with a red color. Next, let's explore Canvas graphics. Canvas is a drawing area for dynamic graphics. Unlike SVG, Canvas uses JavaScript to draw graphics on the web. Here's how we can draw a rectangle on a canvas using HTML and JavaScript. In this example, the canvas element creates a drawing area. Using JavaScript, we select the canvas context and draw a blue rectangle at specified coordinates with fill rect. Let's see a comparison of SVG and canvas. SVG, best for scalable, static graphics like logos. Canvas, perfect for dynamic, interactive visuals like animations. Performance, SVG is ideal for fewer elements, while Canvas handles large and complex visuals better. To practice these topics, open the description and click the relevant link. Read the detailed explanation on the page. Scroll down to the bottom. And try it yourself using the live editor. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you understand the topics correctly.